Hello, and welcome. Today we're taking a look at the future of the UK's weather, something that shapes our daily lives. Predicting tomorrow's weather is tough but looking ahead a whole year is even trickier. Long-range forecasts don't tell us if it'll rain next Tuesday. Instead, they reveal likely trends for the seasons ahead. These forecasts use powerful computer models to spot global patterns and give us probabilities, like a 60% chance of a warmer winter. For 2025 to 2026, the main story is a weather pattern called La Nina, happening far away in the Pacific Ocean, but with big impacts here. We'll walk through each season, from autumn 2025 to summer 2026, and break down what experts expect for temperatures, rain, wind, and special risks. We'll also highlight how the forecast might differ between Scotland and Southern England. The weather is a classic British topic, and knowing what's coming helps us all prepare. This is a guide to what's probable, not a guarantee. Weather always has surprises. By the end, you'll have a clearer idea of what to expect and how to get ready for the year ahead. Let's dive in and see what the future might hold for our famously changeable British weather. To understand the year's weather, we need to talk about La Nina, a natural pattern where the tropical Pacific Ocean cools. Oceans and atmosphere are connected, so changes far away can trigger a domino effect, shifting weather systems worldwide. La Nina alters the jet stream, a fast-moving ribbon of air high above us, making it wavier, and shifting it north. This can create blocking high pressure near Greenland or Scandinavia, acting like a wall that blocks our usual mild wet Atlantic weather. Instead, it can let cold Arctic or eastern air reach the UK. This year, a weak La Nina is expected to strengthen into winter, raising the chance of cold spells, especially later in the season. Another key player is the polar vortex, a spinning mass of cold air around the North Pole. If it weakens or breaks down it can send icy Arctic air south, sometimes causing a sudden stratospheric warming event. This winter, the risk of such an event is higher than usual. So, remember, La Nina cools the Pacific, changes the jet stream and can block mild weather, while a weak polar vortex increases the risk of cold outbreaks. These global patterns don't guarantee a certain outcome. Thomson do by Carib don't turn palm. It's bow by Palma. Thomson dark and fun. Thomson dark, Thomson day. Make some weather more likely. They're the big clues forecasters use to piece together the seasons ahead. Let's see how this plays out for the UK. Autumn 2025 looks unsettled. Expect a mix of wind, rain, and occasional calm spells. September may feel like a late summer, but October and November will likely turn stormier. La Nina can make the Atlantic hurricane season more active, and remnants of these storms sometimes reach us with strong winds and heavy rain. Temperatures should be around average or a bit warmer, with the south seeing highs of 12 to 16 degrees and the north 8-12 degrees. The west and north will be wetter and more prone to flooding, while the east and southeast stay drier. Strong winds, gusts up to 50-60 mile per hour, are possible, especially along coasts. The main risks. Atlantic storms bringing heavy rain, flooding, and powerful winds. By late November, frost risk rises especially in rural Scotland and northern England. Autumn will be a classic transition from summer's warmth to winter's chill. With wet and windy weather ahead, a little preparation goes a long way. Check gutters and drains for blockages. Overflow can damage your home. Secure loose roof tiles and garden items before storms hit. A waterproof coat and layers are essential for the UK's changeable weather. Waterproof shoes and a sturdy umbrella will keep you dry. When storms are forecast, secure outdoor furniture and toys, and stay indoors if possible. If you must travel, check for updates. Flooded roads and train delays are common. Drive slowly in heavy rain and wind, leaving extra space between cars. Stay informed with daily weather updates and heed official warnings. If you live in a flood-prone area, sign up for environment agency alerts. A bit of planning helps you face autumn storms with confidence. Stay safe and ready for whatever the season brings. Winter 2025-26 is likely to be split in two. December should be mild and wet, with Atlantic systems bringing rain and wind, typical UK winter weather. Southern areas could see highs of 10-13 degrees C, but strong winds may cause disruption. After New Year, expect a shift. 
La Nina and a weak polar vortex raise the odds of colder, drier conditions. Blocking high pressure could let Arctic or Eastern air in, dropping daytime highs to 5 to 9 degrees Celsius and much colder nights. Lows could reach 8 to 15 degrees Celsius in the north and rural areas. Snow is more likely, especially in Scotland and northern England, but even the south could see some flakes. The risk of a major cold snap is higher than usual, so be ready for a real taste of winter. Prepare for a season that starts mild but could turn sharply colder and snowier. With a colder winter likely, preparation is key. Start with your home, check insulation, fit thick curtains and use draft excluders to keep heat in, service your boiler before the cold sets in, stock up on warm clothes, hats, scarves, gloves and layers work best. Keep a supply of non-perishable food and a torch with batteries in case snow or power cuts keep you indoors. If you drive, prepare your car, check tires, battery, and keep a winter kit, blanket, shovel, torch, snacks, and a charge phone. Always check forecasts and travel advice before heading out. Public transport can be disrupted, so plan ahead. Look out for elderly or vulnerable neighbors, check their warm and have supplies. Offer help with shopping if needed. Small acts of kindness make a big difference in cold weather. By taking these steps you'll be ready for whatever winter brings. Stay safe and help your community through the cold months. After a cold winter, spring 2026 brings a welcome change. La Nina's influence fades, so weather should become milder and more settled. March may still have chilly days and frosty nights, but these will fade as spring progresses. Temperatures will trend slightly above average, with highs of 6 to 11 sirens in March, rising to 10 to 16 tigers by May. Rainfall should be average or a bit below, with fewer big storms and more dry, sunny days. Classic spring showers will still pop up, especially in the west. Watch for late frosts, which can damage young plants, especially in rural and northern areas. Pollen levels will rise during mild, sunny spells, so hay fever sufferers should be prepared. Spring looks set to be a gentle, pleasant season, perfect for getting outdoors again. Enjoy the return of color and warmth after winter's gray. Summer 2026 is shaping up to be warmer and slightly drier than average. With La Nina gone, weather patterns should be more balanced, but climate change tips the odds toward warmth. Expect plenty of fine weather, with high pressure bringing settled sunny spells. Southern England could see highs of 18 to 24 degrees, with the north a bit cooler at 14 to 20 degrees. Heat waves are more likely, with temperatures possibly reaching 25 to 30 degrees or higher in the south. Rainfall will be below average, mostly in the form of heavy, thundery showers, often very localized. The main risks drought in the southeast and heat waves, which can be dangerous for vulnerable people. Stay hydrated, avoid the hottest part of the day, and look out for others. Water restrictions like hose pipe bans may be needed if dry spells persist. While many enjoy the heat, remember to take care during extreme weather. Summer promises plenty of sunshine, but be prepared for its challenges. As we wrap up, remember, long-range forecasts are guides, not guarantees. Weather is complex and always changing. Forecasters use global clues like La Nina and the polar vortex, but new information can shift the outlook. Think of forecasts as a map. They show the general direction, but the route can change. Forecasts are updated monthly as new data comes in, so it's important to stay informed. Even a small change in global patterns can have a big impact on our weather. For the latest updates, rely on trusted sources like the Met Office and BBC Weather. These services provide current advice and warnings for severe weather. Use this guide as a starting point to prepare for each season. Be ready for a stormy autumn, a potentially cold winter, a pleasant spring, and a warm summer. Always check for updates as the seasons approach. The weather will keep us guessing, but staying informed is the best way to be prepared. Thanks for joining me. Stay safe and ready for whatever the weather brings.